Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for a monthly Angel Scope for the month of March 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius. So before I begin, I'd just like to welcome anyone who's new to my channel and just make you aware of some of the content um, that happens here. So first of all, we do this every month now. Um, this is about, I don't know, the fourth month, maybe? I'm not quite sure, but... Um, and also, um, I write daily card messages um, for your for your from your angels and um, I post them here on my channel um, as well as on Facebook my Facebook page and Twitter account those links are below the video um, I, there are meditation angel meditations on the channel and there's a general reading that I do weekly um, so you can check that out as well so everything you can find on those uh, social media accounts as well as here on YouTube too. And the links are below. All right, now, um, finally, I've been offering since the pandemic my half hour angel reading for $77 for one full hour. It's been extended to one full hour so that you can sign up for this at the angelschool.com slash services page. That link is below and you go there and select the half hour reading as is. And within 24 hours on the first business day, I will send you a confirmation email noting the special offer. And it will also come with the instructions to set up an, um, an appointment. So don't, the, the thing on my website is broken, that schedule um, appointment thing. So don't worry about it. Um, and then what will happen is, is that I will indicate a date, starting date of availability. And I ask for three weeks so that, you know, as I'm doing this in the order that I receive the appointments, um, payments, that you, I don't have to come back and, uh, you know, lose your place in the, in the line. So um, if you have fewer days, then give me more weeks. All right, that way we just haven't enough. And last thing to say about this is that there are no limitations or restrictions. So if you've had a reading before, you can have it again, okay? All right, so let's take a deep breath. Sagittarius. And the angels are going to be um, giving me a little bit of information about, um, I'm gonna be sharing with you, they've already shared with me about the month in general. Um, but before we do that, I just wanna get you really connected in here. Um, I'm seeing a tree, I'm seeing the trunk of the tree that your connection, uh, that represents your connection. It's a little thin, it could be a lot wider. So let's see if we can really um, help you with that so that you're really, um, you know, allowing the, mo the maximum amount of, of connection with your I am presence and the universe. So, you may be already, as soon as you take that deep breath, feeling um, sort of a spinning beneath your feet, and that would be your earth star chakra. So it's really important this month because this month they're saying that we're all going to be at sort of a crossroads, okay? And so this means that um, there are going to be some important life-changing choices that are coming up. Um, I really get the sense that everybody is going to have some kind of really major shift um, where it is that you need it in your life, where, where if you felt like something's been holding you back, um, this, you're going to have a, 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 I'm just saying the word death, which is a, for the death card, which means you're going to have a, a really major transformation. It's really leaving something behind and moving forward um, unencumbered in some way. So you preparing yourself for this, they're asking you, the other word, they, to breathe, okay? And um, the goddess Lakshmi is coming in. So this is um, in areas of abundance for you, okay? That this work is being done. And you may have been feeling right now like you're not channeling a lot of abundance. And um, 
this there's this is turning into a lamp now the tree so this tells me that you're going to have a light bulb moment it's just going to like clicking on the light bulb and that shift will happen in your consciousness and in your being where you just will automatically um just sort of shed this this um layer of uh, thinking or or feeling and you just tap in to this these ideas and this creativity that allows you to feel abundance so i feel like it's going to come as a feeling first but it's also the the mind because the, the lamp represents the intellect just going on switching on okay and you're going to switch into this so that means that you're going to just get these really brilliant ideas you're going to have this um perception of life where you just see opportunities and that's really important for you not to ignore that or to really be waiting for something to happen because they're showing you where it's happening and where you need to be and that means you just need to go if that makes any sense to you all right and so we're going to call in archangel shamuel to i'm sorry archangel sandophone but i am saying archangel shamuel too all right so we're going to first call in archangel sandophone because he works with the earth star chakra and we're going to ask him to activate that chakra Archangel Shamuel is coming in and we're going to ask him to activate your heart chakra with all the, uh, for your heart to be open to the lessons that you're now experiencing and that are coming to fruition. And he's saying rest, okay? So um, I don't know if it's like putting things to rest, that might be it as well, but I also get a sense that you need to really get more rest find you know don't push yourself a lot don't um it that makes it hard for you to sleep if you're pushing yourself so you want to start going with the flow and when you're feeling a certain way in terms of creativity and positivity go with that when you're feeling like you're exhausted or tired go with that that's your go with the go with your body listen and follow these the, these in, in instincts, these are needs. Your instincts also really shed light on what your needs are and where your purpose is. So do this in order that if you get that rest when you need to rest, this will this will help with the the light bulb going off, the lamp. You know this will this will, this is going to play a role in that shift happening. So I, I'm encouraging you and imploring you not to ignore this if you feel like you need to rest do it okay because you you're going to hold yourself up you're not going to be your best self all right and this is probably one of the reasons why your connection is so thin because if you're not rested enough you can't be you you can't you can't handle those frequencies you can't handle a larger um channel of frequency so whenever you're feeling blocked Think about whether or not you're getting enough rest. You have so many archangels coming in. Archangel Michael is coming in to activate your throat chakra. Archangel Raphael is coming in to activate your third eye chakra. Okay, so you just have a, there's a, it feels like you need, that you've been neglecting by not getting enough rest, your your chakras, these chakras are suffering, okay? So this isn't going to be really important. I don't care what excuse you could give me right now. Stop giving me the excuse and start listening to your body and giving yourself what you need. Because Archangel Shamiel is showing me like the, the tree just severed and you're just cutting yourself off from all the divine guidance and support because you're doing it yourself. All right, Sagittarius? So don't be stubborn and, 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 and listen. They, everything's going to work out and it'll be what you need, but you got to realize that you, 
this is a collaboration, your life. The universe collaborates with you and it wants to cooperate with you. So give it the opportunity. All right, let's take a look at the Archangel that you'll be working with for this month. Wow, I just pulled this card. <clears throat> Um, all right, and so for the um, sign of Scorpio. All right, so this is the judgment card, new beginnings, okay? Archangel Jeremiah, the mercy of God. So it's really important for you um, to, I feel like here, it's going to be like the fundamentals. That's the word they, they gave me earlier. There's the fundamentals. Um, and I'm going to say something else. And don't take this as a judgment because they don't judge it, okay? But they wrote the word promiscuity. So some of you may have just been a little active, right? You're, you're you know, you're using a lot of your sexual energy and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, we all do. But um, you, you may need rest rather than um, that kind of release, okay? So... They were writing the word fundamentals, and I, I feel like what this means is for you that the, the, the changes where you're going to experience the change and the shifts is going to be in the fundamentals. And that's the stuff we're talking about, like, you know, getting proper rest, you know, proper diet, all these things. Focus on the fundamentals, even in your, 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 your work. Go back to the fundamentals in your work. Like if you're feeling disconnected, you're feeling all over the place, go back to the fundamentals. Root yourself, ground yourself in those fundamentals, in those fundamental practices, and you'll start to feel yourself coming back together again. It'll be like everything sort of starts to integrate or you're calling back those fragments of your soul and yourself and your gifts that have just been fraying and dispersing. So I feel like it's really important for you. This is where you're going to experience those shifts. So really pay attention. This is a card of examination. Pay attention um, to where you need to where you need to make those shifts to get back on track. All right. Um, let's take a look at the card from your guardian angel. Okay, it's the nine of action. <laughs> All right. And um, typically, this is a card that is showing someone who's sort of holding down the fort, you know, and they're feeling like they're, like, like they're the last man standing. If they don't get it done, who else is going to, to protect, you know, the realm or what have you? Um, sort of like that, that soldier, like, you know, sort of almost a sense of martyrdom, right? Because he's already beaten up. And he's, instead of taking care of himself, he's trying to, you know, protect. So um, I feel like for you that you need to really, again, be more, um, be more discerning. Like know when you need, are you the one that needs the rescuing or is it the other thing? And which one is the priority, you or it, right? So it's about you discovering um, what are your priorities and where, you know, where to place your priorities. Now, this could also be something where in, um, this is a card sometimes about not giving up, right? And um, stand, hanging in there. But, the, but I feel like for you that this is something that has to do with you things not being in balance for you. So you got to, you know, you got to like be a little bit more discerning about whether or not you need more help than the thing that you're trying to hold up or keep going. Um, so if you're not, if you're not um, strong enough, well enough, then your efforts aren't going to be as positive. So you need to really make that shift for yourself. All right, the card says you've worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, and hearth and home, or hearth and home. Um, rest assured that all these treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels. In return, Mother Earth, the animals, and the environment need your protection. So we had all those angels standing around you, all right? So don't worry 
about trying to protect other things. Those things are going to be fine. Take care of you. All right? Take care of you. So, Sagittarius, I send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful month. God bless you.